So we are at Linaro Connect Hong Kong 2018. So let's meet Sahad Sarup of 96 Boards. Hey oh, you don't want to say who are you? <laughs> oh, me? You have oh, okay. to say who are you to him. Oh, okay, say who are you? I'm Sahad Sarup, Applications Engineer at 96 Boards. So what are you showing here? So this is basically the carbon rover and we have used our IoT edition carbon and I've tried to add as many sensors as I can with What do you call it? What rover? Carbon rover. So it's based on our IoT edition carbon board. You, de you designed this rover? Yeah. So below, just below the battery you can barely see our uh, 96 volts carbon right there inside. That's controlling the whole thing. Um, and. Which is an IoT board or? It's an IoT board and it's running Zephyr. Zephyr, so yeah. you're doing all this on Zephyr? Yeah, it's all real time. Yeah. 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 So um, this basically had two modes. So the first thing, the amount of sensors, there are four, uh, there are six ultrasonic sensors and there are four uh, IR sensors. So these are prevented from falling down and ultrasonic sensors prevented from bumping into anything. Could you hold it up and show yeah. it around? Let's look around this. This, uh, let's see under. So the boards, some batteries, some sensors everywhere. This is the coolest looking <laughs> rover I've ever seen. Is it? Have you ever seen a cooler one? No, 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 not yet. No, not yet. Yeah. And so uh, the LEDs are divided into like uh, four, four, and four. So they correspond to the. Uh, distance of the object from each sensor so if i move my hands closer it will go red and it will go oh, blue nice. as i move forward away um so it has two modes uh, if i reset it first this is power bank only yeah this power bank i have a reset button here yeah. connected directly to the carbon so this is now searching for any uh, for a yeah. bluetooth connection yeah and um we'll wait for 10 seconds it didn't get any so it goes into an automatic mode and Whoa. it just tries to, you know, this is uh, find starting car. Yeah, and it, it tries to find itself. And now if I can stop it like this and reset it, and then I can get my phone, connect to it while it's searching. And once that's done, it will flash green. Control it. Can you control it on the floor? Yes, I can. Let's do that. All right. Uh, can you put it in uh, in self-driving mode? <laughs> Let's try. This is. I, I was just saying. This is the coolest rover I've seen. It is have you pretty ever cool. Seen such a cool rover. I have not. No. Huh? Yeah. But but um, I mean, not, even surprisingly, it, it's running on the carbon, right? So the ninety six Ford's IoT carbon. Nice. So now you're in, in uh, self-driving mode. Yeah. When is it going to start? Yeah. Now. Down the legs, but also, uh, you know, the rest of the stuff. Down the legs as well. This is so cool. You can play. It's not a, it's not a, you need a, uh, something stronger, right? Yeah, because it's a block, so it absorbs this on the All right. Awesome. So, are you going to commercialize this? <laughs> How much for the rover? I, I know, but, you, know, you can find this the rover and how to recreate the rover. Um, if you visit the uh, github.com, so 96 boards dash projects uh, under there, so github.com forward slash 96 boards projects. Nice. And, um, and there you'll all get the information it. is there. Yeah, all the information to recreate it, the bill of materials, everything, the code. So it's all open. So that's awesome. And so, 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 um, so that's cool. So when are people gonna take this and make a, like a, a billion dollars out of it and sell it in the, in the market? <laughs> Whenever they and want it, take children open to source. school. It should be like a, a school bus. Just jump on it and it goes directly to. <laughs> no driver needed. Yeah. Okay. There's some other stuff for self driving cars, right? So what kind of sensors are these? And these are ultrasonic sensors. So uh, that's why they didn't work with the plot because. But does it work with absorb. paper? Yeah. It kind of works with paper, but. It's better to have something strong, though. No? Yeah. yeah. So if, if it's like a wood or a metallic yeah. object, then it works just fine. Um, these are actually very cheap, so that's why I use them. So there are many other kind of sensors that you can use, time of flight or any other ones. And these LEDs, what do what, what you use for that? So that's just, um, so there are two uses. It shows that it's waiting for yeah. uh, a Bluetooth connection and if it gets a Bluetooth connection, it will flash uh, green. If not, it flashes red 
uh, and when it's actually working as a rover it will actually correspond to the distance of the object now one of the reasons these boards might not work because they are at an angle yeah and that just bounces sound so sounds coming here and it's bouncing up oh. instead of going into that. cool that's so all right here people can find this over there the carbon rover uh so let's check you have another project over yes. here So this is the uh, Heike 960 VR project. It was it's basically to demonstrate the uh, use the use case of the neon key mezzanine, and um, it's actually running Android. So the way we interface is we use the Google's Context Hub Hal and uh, neon keys uh, concept context firmware, and then VR Hal on top of that. So what you get is a generic device uh, and you can run any generic VR as you would run on a smartphone. So um, it's a VR solution that runs on the 96 boards. Yeah. Uh, it's a VR... Yeah, so you don't have to program it separately. Uh, for, especially for the Neon Key, you just make it as any other VR uh, Android app. So I've made this using Unreal Engine 4. Cool. Um, so, uh, what kind of other things do you do? You have this uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, I, what, what, how, how many videos have you posted? I don't know. I lost count. Hundreds. Four hundred around. Four hundred, yeah. Yeah. And all about what? Different boards. Different, different boards. Uh, I've started experimenting with some uh, not so famous operating systems that people just create as an experiment. Fuchia. Yeah, Fuchsia is the Google's experiment. You and did a video about why you're not making Fuchsia videos. What did you say in that yeah, video? Yeah, so, so what, what happened was that, I mean, and this is like my own opinion. Let's not, from this yeah. point, let's not take it, take yeah. me as a Linaro employee, right? This is my own, impro uh, imp like, opinion, yeah. right? Let's make that clear. So what, what happened was the, uh, the Fuchsia OS decided that they don't want to support um, software rendering for their graphics and they only want to support Vulkan API. So that means that no other um, sort of device works except for the devices they want. So there's that very- That support Vulkan API. Yeah, that support Vulkan API. So there's a very, very specific uh, group of uh, Intel HD devices that work. And even if your device supports Vulkan API, it doesn't mean that it will boot because it's it's very like hard coded in a sense uh, that which uh, gra GPU would be used. Is open source? It is open source, yeah. And uh, we'll see what happens. That's we'll see what thing. happens. But uh, then you run all kinds of weird OS, you say? Yeah. Which one? Like, so example, I think the, one. the very strange one was Temple OS. And I don't know um, if I scream Temple OS here. How is many Temple people? OS, is that, the, is that an OS where the, the only function is to run Temple Run? No, no. Game? No? <laughs> no? What is it's, the Temple it's, OS? It's a very weird OS. I mean, it's, it's hard to explain. It's actually hard to explain. You didn't design it? I didn't. No? And thank God. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. All right. So yeah. you, you did a video about that? Yeah, I did. You get some comments? Lots of comments? Yeah. Yeah? And uh, uh, like, uh, is there old, always something interesting? What do you think about the, the latest 96 boards, the AI stuff? Yeah, it what is gonna, very interesting. Be able to do and um, of course, as soon as I go home, I'll be releasing a few videos of my own yeah? uh, on the ones that have been released. Uh, I'm taking a few of them with me. Um, yeah, they, they should be interesting. Let's say what all applications we can get in the coming weeks. We'll you know, take a look. Can you figure up. out of apps? Can you, you know how to make AI apps? Yeah. I mean, they have AI already implemented on them, and all we have to do is use the API and then make it work. Nice. And I was showing you this uh, during the show. Yes. What do you think? Yeah. I actually really like it because, um, you know, I'd, I'd like a form factor like this. It's really tiny. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty good. So uh, it's, it's fun to, to work uh, Linaro doing all it these is. things? It is. There's a, there's a lot of... Uh, Open source. A lot of open source. A lot, lot of, of 96 people. boards. Yeah. Uh, cool, cool guys. Right? Cool guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you do? You meet in the chat or what do you do? We meet in the chat. How often? At least twice some week or something like that. Is it open? Anybody can find your chat room or not? No, no, no. no? Okay. You don't want people to just jump in and say, yeah. "Hey, I saw you in a YouTube video." Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. So check. I'll check your next videos. On Geek Kill It Hurts. Yeah.